Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars. I'm holding a very cool 1969 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Some of the first guitars I fell in love with. I had an 88 Custom back in the day, which is a whole different animal. This is what you want. The 1969, 68, 69 are just some of the coolest Customs that came out. Obviously, there's the 53s and the early ones that had Alnico pickups, but these are just so rock and roll. This is the long tenon version, waffle tuners, has some marks where it had a Bigsby, which just adds to the rock and roll vibe. So you're not gonna be the first one to put a ding in it when you're rocking out. So a couple things with these guitars is they have the ebony fretboard. That's what really sets the guitar apart to me. Generally, Les Paul had a rosewood board. Ebony is a harder wood, and you can feel that a little bit. I love it. They have their own sound. They don't stray too far off of what you expect from a Les Paul by any means, but there's just a little bit different feel, which I always loved. This is just that perfect age where they fully encompass vintage Gibson vibe. I mean, anybody should be proud to have a guitar like this. I mean, seriously, it's a, it's a great era for these customs. This particular one is kind of medium weight. They're not generally light guitars, especially the ebony board and a little couple more features, you know. So there you go, in all its rock and roll beauty in 1969, Gibson Les Paul Custom. We have Nick Martin on guitar today. Let's see how it sounds. <clears throat> Thank you. 